Hello everyone, welcome to Marvel Medicine. My name is Suhaib Chaudhry. So, this lecture is on shunting. Shunting is a term we as anesthesiologists use all the time. What does it mean and why is it important? Do people who are taking step one need to know this? Absolutely. They test you all the time on it. Shunting is a physiologic mechanism. And again, it's tested a lot on the USMLE, so you should absolutely know it. What's interesting is that throughout medical school, I always heard of shunts, but nobody ever really took the time to clearly explain what that means. So the word was always a bit of a mystery for myself and many other people. Now, after some years, I realized that it's really not a hard concept at all. Nothing is really. You just have to have it explained clearly enough to understand it. And of course, visualize it. So take the word shunt. What do you think of? In English isn't your if, if English isn't your first language then you might have a tough time but when I hear the word shunt I picture a big shaft where you throw something down one end and it comes out the other end now that's exactly what a shunt does in physiology let's visualize and look at the heart and lungs we know that deoxygenated blood comes to the right side of the heart once it there, it goes to the pulmonary artery, to the lungs. In the lungs, it picks up oxygen and then returns back to the left side of the heart, to the left atrium, to the left ventricle, which then goes to the aorta and the rest of the body. Now, look at the lungs and capillaries a little bit closer. Let's take, for example, four capillary and four alveoli. Normally, deoxygenated blood will come from the left side, going towards the right, pick up oxygen, and then leave in all four. That oxygenated blood then returns to the left side of the heart to go to the rest of the body. Well, what if only two out of the four alveoli are working properly due to any reason like atelectasis or plugging, mucus plugging that is. Now all four of them get deoxygenated blood and only two pick up oxygen. The blood that's returning to the heart, it's got a mixture of both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood now from the four alveoli. This causes hypoxemia, basically low blood oxygen in the arterial system and that is what shunting means. What's another way to describe a shunt? An ASD, atrial septal defect, or VSD, ventricular septal defect, that's right to left, where deoxygenated blood goes from the right atria to the left atria, or from the right ventricle to the left ventricle. Now that you guys understand what shunting means and have visualized it, think about the term AA gradient, the alveolar arterial gradient. Normally, the alveolar and arterial side should equilibrate the oxygen levels, meaning whatever the oxygen pressure is in the alveoli should equal the pressure of oxygen in the artery. Now, what if there's a defect in how the oxygen gets equilibrated? And more so, what if it doesn't get equilibrated? Notice how the oxygen level now starts off at 40 but it never gets to 100 the way it normally does and it's supposed to. This deoxygenated blood joins with the other blood and goes back to the heart. What can we deduce from this is that, well, if the alveolar oxygen is 100 and the arterial oxygen is, let's say for example, 70, there's a problem, meaning there's an AA gradient of about 30 now. Normally, it should be less than 10. I can totally see questions on the USMLE that give you a bunch of numbers, including the alveolar oxygen, and they sneak in the arterial oxygen level. Alongside that, they'll give, they'll give you a long vignette story, uh, you know, with vials, this, that. Then they'll ask you what the diagnosis is, and you'll think, I have no idea. What they want you to do is recognize that you have the tools to calculate the AA gradient. They will make sure to give you obvious numbers and it'll definitely be above 10. 
At that point, what I want you to do is pick the answer choice that has anything to do with shunting. Whether it's intrapulmonary or intracardiac, they won't give you both. Thanks for watching this video, guys.